Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, guys. I'm having a great, great day. Listen, wanted to do a quick, quick video with you all. Does this box look familiar, you guys? If it does not look familiar, y'all, please go back and watch the last couple of videos, guys. This is a box that I got for free from Target, okay? I got this box for free from Target, and all I did was jazz it up with a cute little um, heart on the front, okay? Very, very, very sturdy box, you guys. Um, it was a box. I got quite a few of them. Um, they actually had, I think, some pajama sets on the inside of them. So when you're going into stores, be on the lookout for items like that that you can use for your items. It's all into how you present it and what you do to make it look really, really nice, guys. So it's um, it turned out really nice. I um, want to show you guys what else I put in it, and then I'm also going to show you the bow that I'm going to be using um, for this gift. Just want to show you guys how you can play around with color. And let me tell you this. Keep in mind when you are designing, you are your own business. You are the creator of your own studio, guys. And you have the right. And I've been, been repeating this on videos after and after and after because I want you guys to make sure that you get it, okay? When you are watching me and others on channels, we are just an example of what you can do. Of course, you put your own twist, you put your own spin, baby, and you put your own Holy Ghost on it, okay? And you do what you do and what you do to make your work look presentable in the way that you want it to look, okay? There is no design, there's no right way, there's no wrong way, there's no specific place you can go to shop. There's All of that stuff is predicated upon you and the budget that you have for your business, okay? I teach, um, if you go back on my channel from three years ago, I've told many times, and maybe I'll sit down and do a video on it really soon, but telling you guys how um, at one point all I could afford was um, Dollar Tree stuff when I had started my business. That's all I could afford was Dollar Tree stuff and whenever I would find things on clearance. But as you go throughout your journey of business, um, you learn things. And as the Bible say, when you know better, you do better. And that's why a lot of us are teaching you guys the journey that we've been on and the mistakes that we've made and the challenges we've had so that when you start your business, you don't have to start out where we started out. You can go ahead and have a jump start in the game. See, when I started out in gift basket designing, I did not have a mentor. I did not have anybody I could go on YouTube and look at, okay? I just kind of learned as I went. It was a gift that God had birthed in the inside of me. And just because God birthed something on the inside of you, it's levels to it, okay? I, I put up a post, or maybe it was a reel or something. I think it was a reel. There's levels to this. It is. There are levels to it. You will never have mastered everything. You will never have learned everything. You will be forever learning. You will be forever growing. And if you ever get to the place in your business or in your life or in your relationship where you feel like you've mastered it, then you've already failed. The person that's not teachable and not reachable has already failed, okay? So make sure you keep your mind open when you are designing and know that your business and your concepts and your principles are not going to be like the next person's because everybody have different amount of money. Everybody have different tastes. Everybody have different um, demands in life. So there's not going to be no two businesses just alike. There's not going to be no two designs just alike. Okay. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. It's going to help you be prosperous in business is not only going to help you be prosperous, but it's going to help you stay in business for the longevity. Okay. I didn't just start this yesterday. I didn't just start this 10 years ago. I didn't start this 15 years ago. I started this almost 25 years ago. And these principles that I teach you guys is what has kept me in the game for this long. Because let me tell you something. If you want to see a fly by night business, you look at some of these gift basket designers. Okay. Some people are in it one day and out of it the next. If they don't make the money that they think they should make or they don't get the customers that they think they should make, I mean, they don't get the customers that they think they should have, then they're in it and out of it. But the principles that I teach you guys are the principles that has kept me in the business 
for as many years as I've been in. And guess what? I've made some mistakes along the way and I probably still make mistakes here and there. But that's the purpose of me teaching you guys so that you don't have to make the same mistakes so you don't make um you don't have to make the same um keep going around the mulberry bush in other words over and over again you'll go ahead and get it because you have somebody teaching you have somebody showing you what to do all right so never compare your business to somebody else's business and how you design to somebody else's design because we're all in different um we're all in different walks. I see some people that just started their business last year or this year. And to me, because I beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but also presentation wise, I can look at some people that just started their business and their presentation is better than people I've seen that's been in it for 10, 15, and 20 years. That's why I say it's not predicated upon how long you've been doing something. Because you can have been doing something for years and not have been doing it right or not have been doing it to perfection. So it doesn't matter um, how many years you've been doing something. What matters is the fact that you remain teachable and you remain learned um, to, in a posture of learning at all times. Okay. Anyway, y'all know we didn't get up here for that, but y'all know how we roll. That's just how we roll. Okay. I I'm about to sing it for y'all, but I ain't trying to get no copyright. You know what I'm saying? So I just going to talk it out. This is how we roll, okay? <laughs> but I want to show you guys how I play around with patterns. And yes, guys, I'm excited about the class tomorrow. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Everybody should have already received um, their email with the Zoom link and the um, items that you will need if you don't have them all. Don't worry about it, guys. We're still going to have a great, great time. As long as you come with a teachable and learnable spirit, that's all you need, okay? And I am the queen of patterns and the queen of colors. And I know y'all like, you're the queen of everything, yes. And if you don't think you're the queen of what you're doing, baby, then you're doing the wrong thing, okay? I'm going to say that again. If you don't feel like you're the queen or you don't feel like you're the best at what you do, then you're doing the wrong thing or you need to keep doing what you're doing until you feel like you are the queen, okay? And when I say stuff like that, I've, I've said this many times over, but I have new sub subscribers every day. And I have people that's been subscribed for a while and maybe have missed the video. When I say stuff like that, I'm not trying to put myself on a platform or a pedestal higher than anybody else. But those are the things that keep me motivated. And those are the things that keep me inspired in who God has called me to be. So, yeah, I'm the queen, baby. And if you don't think you're the queen, what's the matter with your thinking? Okay. Okay, let's roll. In this video. Okay, we only at eight minutes. We only at eight minutes. Let's see, do I want to do it this way since it's going to be so thick? Yeah, I guess. It's going to be really thick, y'all. I think I should have used the other method. But... And when I tell y'all, my fingers are still sore from taking these nails off. I'm like, I want to go back and get them because I normally keep them out from December to February. But because of the way they look and I want to go back and get them, them put back on. But the way they feeling, honey, I don't ever want to get them put back on again. And that's word to your mama. And your daddy too. Cause these fingers are so sore and I've been had them all well over a week. I think it's been over a week. Anyway, they've been off long enough that I feel they should have done healed by now. Of course, the more uh, ribbon you use, the more challenging it is, but it's, it's not a challenge to me because I've been doing it for so long. What's a challenge to me is how bad my fingers are hurting right now. And what it is also a challenge is how dull these scissors are. <laughs> That's the challenge right now. These dull scissors that need being trash can. I just kept that at two loops on each side because, honey, when I tell you it's so thick, it's very thick. 
David Dick, David Dick, David Dick. Am I going to listen in front of this? Yeah, I think I do. I think I do. I think I do. It ain't really long enough to stick it on the back, so we're going to see how it works in the front. Gonna give this bow a frontal. I just added that green in there just to give it a pop of color, y'all. But I put a really, really nice um, blanket back there. And um, it's actually a picture behind the blanket, but I had to put the picture back there just so it could, um, I could, you know, stand it up. It's a really huge blanket. And if I had a kip it rolled up, I wouldn't have had enough room in the basket to even put the rest of the stuff in there. So guys, we're not gonna wrap it up on camera. If you need some wrapping videos, there's plenty, plenty on my channel, hundreds I'm sure. And we're gonna just keep fluffing and playing with this and then we're going to, I hope you guys have been able to see. Um, and I'm gonna tell you what I probably I'm going to do is go back and add a little bit more pink. I want to add a little bit more pink. But we're going to go in and cut our ends, of course. Don't tell our ends. And just spread them out. And like I said, I'm going to put a, probably a little bit more pink. Or maybe I'll put a whole nother different pattern of pink up under there we'll see it may not look like much now y'all but trust me when they get up here on this here basket it's gonna be beautiful all right guys make sure you like share comment and subscribe hit the bell so that each and every time i upload a video bam you will be the first to be notified get your what you better get your money honey and you better feed your bag to the next video bye y'all